Welcome to our pharmacology quiz. Do you think you've mastered this course yet? Well, let's put your knowledge to the test. In today's challenge, we're covering four essential areas in pharmacology, asthma medication, beta blockers, SSRI, diabetes. Medication. Each of these areas will have three questions, one easy, one medium, and one hard, worth one, two, or three stars. After each question, I'll give you a moment to think and we'll reveal the correct answer, along with a quick explanation. Ready to get started? Let's dive in. Let's start with an easy one. Which medication class is used to treat inflammation associated with asthma? Now pharmacology and the respiratory system. Remember, asthma is both inflammation and bronchoconstriction. For the inflammation, we're gonna give corticosteroids like beclomethazone. For the bronchoconstriction, for acute attacks, we're gonna give a short-acting inhaled bronchodilator like albuterol. Remember, that's a SABA, so go ahead and write that in, S-A-B-A. -A. Those are short-acting inhaled bronchodilators is the route of choice in an acute attack. Which medication class is used to treat bronchoconstriction associated with an asthma attack? Short-acting inhaled bronchodilators are the go-to treatment for bronchoconstriction during an asthma attack. These medications, like albuterol, work quickly to relax the muscles around the airways helping to open them up and improve airflow. They're typically used as a fast-acting rescue option during an asthma flare-up. A client who is diagnosed with asthma is prescribed albuterol. Which common medication side effects does the nurse include in the teaching? Select all that apply. Tremors, especially in the extremities, and tachycardia are common side effects of short-acting beta-2 agonists, such as albuterol or levobuterol. Some clients may have chest pain after using the medication and are made aware of this possibility. Some clients may perceive tachycardia as a pounding of the heartbeat or an irregular racing heartbeat. What is the primary mechanism of action of beta blockers? These are beta adrenergic blockers. Just another way of saying beta blocker. Beta receptors are in the adrenergic receptor family, so that's why we call it beta adrenergic blocker or beta blockers. The nurse cares for a client who has a diagnosis of heart failure and has been taking metoprolol. Which outcomes indicate to the nurse that the medication is effective? Select all that apply. A beta blocker such as metoprolol slows down the heart rate, improving blood flow throughout the body. This medication improves the ejection fraction and decreases morbidity and mortality due to heart failure. When the heart rate is slowed, blood pressure is decreased. Under normal circumstances, the faster the heart rate, the higher the blood pressure. However, a client who is taking a beta blocker may experience a depressing effect with activities such as exercise which would normally increase the heart rate and blood pressure. A client who is diagnosed with diabetes mellitus is prescribed beta blockers and receives discharge teaching from the nurse, which client statement indicates successful teaching. Beta blockers may mask some normal signs of low blood glucose, such as tachycardia. The nurse must educate the client with diabetes about the importance of monitoring the blood glucose levels to watch out for hypoglycemia once the client is started on beta blocker medication. Aside from depression, what condition can SSRIs be used to treat?
Now we use it to treat depression. We already knew that because these are antidepressants, but it also has other benefits. It can help with OCD, social anxiety disorder, post-traumatic stress syndrome, and panic disorder. It can help with eating disorders and some other special types of depression like premenstrual dysphoric disorder. And lastly, enuresis. What medications can be considered if SSRIs do not work? Select all that apply. If SSRIs are not effective in treating depression, alternative medications such as serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors and norepinephrine dopamine reuptake inhibitors are often considered. Antipsychotics, though sometimes used in treatment resistant. Depression are not first-line alternatives for SSRIs and are typically reserved for cases with severe symptoms. The nurse is teaching a client about their prescription for paroxetine. Which potential side effect does the nurse include? Select all that apply. Clients taking selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, such as paroxetine, may experience anticholinergic effects. Anticholinergic effects may include dry mouth, blurred vision, urine retention, constipation and sexual dysfunction or decreased pleasure from sexual activities. Which oral anti-diabetic medication family works by promoting insulin secretion by the pancreas? Meglitonides stimulate the pancreas to release more insulin in response to meals. This action helps lower blood sugar levels, especially after eating. Unlike other classes like biguanides, which improve insulin sensitivity, or alpha-glucosidase inhibitors, which slow carbohydrate absorption, meglitonides directly enhance insulin secretion. What is a critical patient education point for those starting on SGLT2 inhibitors? GLT-2 inhibitors work by increasing glucose excretion in the urine, which can create a favorable environment for bacterial growth, raising the risk of urinary tract infections. It's important for patients to be educated about the signs of UTIs and to stay hydrated to help prevent them. The nurse assesses the client's at-home medication compliance. The client has type 1 diabetes and has been prescribed albuterol, lisinopril, methylprednisolone, and fludrocortisone for 10 years. Which of the following client statements requires immediate follow-up? So requiring immediate follow-up is B, because we're looking at, we know heartbeat is faster, I feel shaky when I stand up. We wanna make sure the patient understands why they feel that, what they're experiencing, and assess them for dehydration. And that's a wrap. How many stars did you earn? If you scored between three and 10 stars, you're a nurse student. You're just starting your journey, but you're on the right track. If you earned between 11 and 20 stars, you're a nurse intern. You're gaining practical knowledge and building a solid foundation. If you scored between 21 and 30 stars, congratulations, you're a registered nurse, you've mastered the material, and are ready to apply it in practice. No matter your level, keep building your skills with Lecturio, your all-in-one study companion for nursing success. Drop your score in the comments, and let us know which topic you want to test next.